Welcome to my YouTube channel. Learn at ease. In this video I will explain mechanism of group 1 hormone signaling. As I discussed in previous video. Hormone is an intracellular messenger. It is produced and released from ductless gland often called as endocrine glands. These have low molecular weight and diffuse readily. They are readily oxidized, their effects do not remain permanent unless these are supplied continuously. General scheme of hormone release and action will be shown next. Hormones are produced by ductless glands of the body, these glands are often termed as endocrine glands, hormones once produced by these glands are transported to the blood across the body, target cells recognizes these hormones through specific receptors, once target cells recognizes these molecules they get activated and delivers the necessary effect. For further details on basics of hormone signaling check out my video introduction to hormone signaling, for the video check out the link in the description below. Based on the mechanism of hormone action on target cell, they are classified as group 1 hormones and group 2 hormones. Group 1 hormones bind to intracellular receptors to form receptor hormone complexes, which then binds to the DNA and activates transcription of certain genes and group 2 hormones bind to cell surface receptors and stimulate release of second messengers. Group 2 hormones are further differentiated in three groups based on the type of second messenger released in target cells. First group of hormones is one that trigger the release of cyclic AMP as second messenger. Second group of hormones is one that trigger the release of phosphatidylinositol or calcium as second messenger. Third group of hormones is one that triggers the signal through less characterized pathways. All the steroid and amino acid derivative hormones fall in the category of group 1 hormones and they are lipophilic. Whereas, protein or peptide hormones are hydrophilic and they fall in the category of group 2 hormones. For this video we would see the exact mechanism of action of group 1 hormones on the target cell. Examples of group 1 hormones are Estrogens progestins, androgens, glucocorticoids, mineralocorticoids, calcitriol, thyroid hormones. Later in this video we would also see the exact function of these hormones. For now let us see how these hormones act on target cell using schematic animations. Mode of action of group 1 hormones is as follows. Target cell is represented here, inside the target cell nucleus possessing the DNA is shown. The receptor for group 1 hormone is present in the nucleus. Away from this target cell, an endocrine gland produces a group 1 hormone. This hormone enters the bloodstream and spreads across the body. From the bloodstream the hormone enters the target cell. As the hormone is lipophilic, it easily enters the cell through cell membrane and then enters the nucleus through nuclear pore. Here inside nucleus it binds to the receptor and forms hormone receptor complex. This complex binds to the DNA. The location on the DNA where hormone, receptor complex binds is called as hormone response element and it is abbreviated as HRE. Once this complex binds to the DNA, it activates transcription of certain genes which codes for mRNA, this mRNA gets translated by ribosomes in the cytoplasm and desired protein is formed, which ultimately induces the desired effect. This phenomena is called gene activation by hormone. Carefully see the schematic representation of group 1 hormones action on target cell. Now I will portray properties of group 1 hormones. They are lipophilic. These hormones can enter the target cell through the cell membrane. Receptors of these hormones are hence located inside the cell nucleus so such receptors are called intracellular receptors. When these hormones bind to intracellular receptors they form a complex called hormone receptor complex. Hormone receptor complex is formed inside the nucleus and it binds to the DNA and activates transcription of genes. The location on the DNA where hormone receptor complex binds is called hormone response element. Now I will explain release and function of essential group 1 hormones. First is estrogens, it is the family of hormones produced and released by ovaries and adrenal cortex, these hormones are essential for female sexual characteristics and for menstrual cycle. Second, progestins, 
it is the family of hormones produced and released by ovaries and placenta, these hormones are essential for females in terms of controlling menstrual cycle and maintenance of pregnancy. Third is male sex hormones, androgens, it is the family of hormones produced and released by testes and adrenal cortex, these hormones are essential for male sexual characteristics and spermatogenesis. Fourth, glucocorticoids, these hormones are produced and released by adrenal cortex, they affect metabolisms and suppress immune system. Fifth, mineralocorticoids, these hormones are produced and released by adrenal cortex, they are essential to maintain salt and water balance in the body. Sixth, calcitriol, the final form of this hormone is released by kidney, its role is to promote absorption of calcium ions from intestine, kidney and bones. Seventh, thyroid hormones, they are produced and released by thyroid glands, they are the key hormones in maintaining metabolic homeostasis by controlling all the anabolic and catabolic processes in the body. In my next video I will explain. Group 2 Hormones Stay tuned to my channel. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe below. Thank you for watching this video.